Hello Capricorns, what's going on? It's Prado G and I'm here with the General Collective reading for your sign. If your birthday is between December 22nd and January 19th, then you are a lovely Capricorn. It's Capricorn season, period. So turn up to all the Capricorns if it's your birthday. Happy birthday today and happy belated birthday or happy birthday in advance. <laughs> If it's not your birthday yet, but yeah, turn up. It is definitely Capricorn season. We are in the year of 2023, and I hope you guys are looking at this thing optimistically, ready for more moments of expansion and growth, which sometimes can be challenging and tough, but it's like with the, with the mentality of prosperity and you just prospering and making progress and the spirit of perseverance. Yes, that's what I'm hearing right now. Just a lot of giving birth to a lot of new things and enjoying the process so <clears throat> take whatever resonates for you in this reading but leave behind what does not resonate for you in particular okay all right the number of this live stream i mean not live i always say <laughs> the significant number of this reading is six six is the number of improvement see some major improvements taking place in your life capricorn reward harmony healing and support so there could be some things that are healing right now for you but it's like you are super supported, definitely, because Capricorns are very supportive. I can't, you know what? All Capricorns ain't the same, but the Capricorns that I know are very much supportive. And you guys have a healing vibe about you. So it's like, what other way for you to be rewarded than through improvement in your life? Like, yes. Yeah, so your life is just a constantly expanding experience. And it's like, you know, be grateful for that. Six is the number of balance as well. <clears throat> three plus three. So, yeah, it's like good balance, relief, improvement in your life in some way, shape, or form. Let's see what's showing up here. The basis of this reading for Capricorn. We got patience in reverse. So, I feel like, yes, you could be waiting on some sort of improvement in your life. But it's like you need to be a little bit patient um, because you are going through a healing process. There's something that you're actually going through right now that um, it takes time for you to... <clears throat> get to where it is that you're trying to go or like the version of yourself that you're trying to achieve and become it, re it it requires patience right so make sure you stay in alignment with patience except that everything happens in divine order i feel like somebody could be very um feeling just impatient like i don't know like it's just giving yeah make sure you uh <clears throat> know that at the end of the day in order for you to see true rewards capricorn is going to take some time and i feel like you're really close though that's one thing i'm getting here it's like cuz you're making a decision and decision showed up in reverse so this is definitely telling me that you're more in tune with your intuition like how you are feeling making sure that you are paying attention to your intuition like how are, how do you feel about a certain scenario or a situation and then you got to make a decision on it it's like, I understand we want people to change or we want things to change very fast, but it doesn't always happen like that. And sometimes you just got to make a decision that suits you. So whatever that um, pertains to. And if it's about health, right? Like if you're healing in terms of your health, it's like you're making better decisions now or going to be making better decisions on your diet or taking care of yourself, self-care. Or um, even in relationships, too, because I feel like some Capricorns right now might be wanting some love or something more to be in a relationship that they really feel emotionally supported in or like a dreamy relationship, a, a truthful, a real solid loving relationship where it's like it's foundation and honesty and excitement and expansion and growth. Right. But if you never had that before, you know, it could be a little bit hard or challenging to receive that and let that in. So. Just be patient with yourself and be patient as the opportunity presents itself to you. Oh, shoot. Okay. All right, Spirit. Let's see. What does Capricorn need to be patient about? What is Capricorn rushing right now? Mm, indecision showed up in reverse. So it's like you are you're you could be rushing somebody to make a specific decision on your behalf. I'm seeing the number eight. That could be significant to some of y'all. Oh, also shout out to my uh, January 6th babies. That's what I wanted to say since the significant number was six. But yeah, happy birthday. If your birthday is January 6th. Oh, that's my um bestie birthday, my ex. Oh, I love him. Ibram, shout out to you. But yeah, so here I feel like there is a decision that was made. You made a decision to do something. Uh, maybe it was a job opportunity, a relationship, whatever the decision was. I feel like um you might have rushed it, I feel. Because the angel of balance is showing up here in reverse. So yeah. 
And then we got the seventh chakra showing up here too. So you might have a blocked crown chakra or it's imbalanced here. And it's like your mind can be clouded or foggy right now. Um, you're just not able to really tap into your intuition, your intuitive. Yeah, it's like as long as you are rushing something, you're not going to be able to really um, <clears throat> get the intuition or the spiritual connection that you're looking for or the inspiration. Like if you have been seeking some sort of inspiration in terms of your job or work, career field, whatever you do, um, this is definitely telling me that there could be a lack of inspiration or blocked inspiration or even intuition. So, you know, you definitely want to uh, not be looking at things from the lackful perspective or the fear-based perspective, um, but it's time for you to awaken to the beauty and power of this realm, like into your life and to yourself. So once you open to the incredible peace and power that spirit can bring, your life will never be the same. It's like right now, I feel like you just got to make peace with the situation, get in tune with your spirit. A woman holding a coin is showing up here too. So this could be significant to you um, upgrading financially, stepping into your bosshood or getting the position that you wanted. And for my males here, I'm feeling like there could be just something about you um, staying in tune with your spirit so that you can actually be more in tune with your relationship and your relationship. But wow, it had to come out. The woman holding a coin definitely had to come out. She showed up. So woman holding a coin is definitely the vibe of somebody who it's a feminine energy that is in control of money. Someone who has plenty of money or status or value, health, you know, wellness, whatever you see a value here, um, a very valuable energy. And I feel like this is what you're coming into. You're making a decision to be vi valued more, to value yourself. And guess what? When you value yourself and what you bring to the table, then other people won't have no choice but to value you. Then we got the goddess of the moon. So yeah, there's definitely some sort of intuitive blocks. And it could be because you're so focused on other things that you think are more valuable than the spirit realm, like finances or um, luxury, clothes, shopping, trips, vacations. Like I'm, I'm just getting all of that energy where it's like more materialistic or uh, even what well, I want to say like superficial. But here it's like, I feel like you really got to get in tune with your spirit. Go within, meditate, ooh, and listen to your intuition because there could be something that's trying to be revealed to you at this point in time. And you might not have access to the revelations or the messages that's trying to come through for you because it's like you're just focused on other things like, or you're rushing the process. But yeah, okay, I'm gonna pull some tarot now. But I'm getting a, a good vibe, though, that it's like the position that you're going to be in is going to be in a very, you want to be in a very loving, accepting perspective. It's like, but sometimes it's hard to do depending on the people that you got going on, like the people that you're dealing with or the things that you're actually going through at this point in time. But it's like, you got to make that decision to build a bond and connection with spirit with god whatever it is that you believe in your internal self you know prayer like that's the same thing as meditating and connecting to your spirit prayer is the same exact thing it's just called a different thing but it's like making some time for that we got the six of swords showing up here so you might be dealing with an air sign there could be an air sign relevant to this uh, scenario or situation for some of my Capricorns, but this is just the end of a challenging time. And it's like, uh, due to your decisions, the decisions that you made have made um, it possible for you to move along. Things are looking up for you though. Like you're being rescued, you're being brought to safer, solid ground, more stable ground. But it's like, you're working through these emotions right now. And I feel like that's the challenge. I feel like that's a challenge because there could be some really deep, dark thoughts or emotions that are um, surfacing, coming to the surface here. But it's like, this is the end of a challenge for you. Like you're getting into better days. It's like, you got to kind of go through this in order to really feel this relief that you're looking for. But I definitely get a very slow going energy here, my um, Capricorns, because the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest night of the court cards. Out of all the knights in the uh, tarot, the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest going one, but the most planned out, the most stable, I would say. So, yeah, 
I do feel like you're showing up very stable, but this level of stability is taking time. Like it's not something that you can rush, um, but you want to stay loyal and dedicated to yourself and whatever it is that you're trying to protect here. If it's your own sanity and well-being, or if it's a relationship with someone or your job, whatever the case is, but it's just all about being um careful with the actions that you're taking. Like, you know, be careful. Be plan carefully, but then you got to get going, right? But don't rush though. That's the thing I'm saying. Like, it's like spirit is definitely telling me to tell you not to rush into it, but you know, stay loyal and dedicated to whatever it is that you're trying to achieve here. Don't rush it. Oh, the number six showed up too with the significant number. So yeah, it's definitely a significant energy of moving on and relocating from something in the past, maybe even a past heartbreak or a defeat. But then we got the eight of wands showing up. And I love this card because look at the energy here. It's like, wow, it's like the moon. First of all, it's a full moon here. So this is definitely an energy of release. So this could be like a celebration phase where it's like you finally let go of something that wasn't serving you or you let go of some sort of perceptions or just energy that could have been holding you back. And now it's like a, it's like you shooting forward, like a lot of fireworks, a time of euphoria. I'm getting here a very sparkly opportunity, something that's really going to get you driven, something that's going to have you on go though. I feel like this could be a new job opportunity or a new sense within yourself, a new confidence within yourself where it's like, I'm just releasing the negativity and I, I see the good, all the good opportunities coming my way. I feel like there's a lot of good opportunities coming your way that could be like advancing you forward financially. But it's like, you still got to make that decision to get in tune with yourself because look, money is never going to be more important than your connection to spirit. You can have all the money in the world and just be unhappy. And um, especially if you're not connect connected to spirit, you can have anything in life and just not be happy with it because you're not in connection with spirit and then we got the queen of cups showing up here in reverse so yeah once again the goddess of the moon showed up in reverse and the queen of cups and quite frankly the queen of cups is the goddess of the moon because water is ruled by the moon like y'all um cancers too i'm getting a strong cancer energy you might be dealing with a feminine cancer you might be dating a, a cancer that's a woman or a feminine um, or even a male, but this is definitely giving the energy of someone who is just like off their game, somebody who is emotionally unavailable or even sad and depressed. That's what's making them emotionally unavailable or your intuition could just be blocked right now. So take it how it resonates, but either way, that's going to kind of affect your emotions as well. If you have a blocked intuition, but this is all about being compassionate towards yourself first and foremost, and then you can be compassionate towards others. But I feel like if you haven't been taking that time for yourself, it's like you keep on sacrificing yourself and your own well-being for other people and things. So it's like you got to follow your heart and take care of yourself. Make sure you take care of yourself here. But there could also be, like I said, if it's not you, Capricorn, you could be dealing with um, an unfaithful cancer or a water sign. It doesn't have to just be a cancer. It could be like a cancer Scorpio or Pisces, but I'm getting heavy cancer energy here. So just be very much mindful um, of, you know, how people are showing up emotionally for you. Somebody might also be sad that you know that you're dealing with. So depressed or going through some sort of challenges. And then underneath the six of swords, we got the freaking... We got the um, Nine of Swords in reverse. So yeah, this is definitely something that you were very anxious about, something that you were worried about, something that could have been keeping you up at night. But it's like you're releasing it now. You're no longer worrying or expecting the worst. You're, you've come to grips that it's over. I've been going through this for a very long time, and now it's time for me to actually make a decision that's going to help bring me relief. If it's therapy, if it's reaching out to other people, if it's moving to a new location, if it's breaking up and leaving something from the past behind, so that you can move on better and refocus. Because it's all about how you're thinking about the situation here. Especially with the source energy showing up. This is your mental faculties. Like, what kind of thoughts do you have running through your mind? Are they optimistic thoughts that propel you forward? Or negative thoughts that might have you feeling anxiety or stressed and worried? Or manifesting 
bad things, right? So with this nine of swords showing up in reverse, it's definitely a sign that that's what you're moving out of. You're moving out of this time of anxiety and worry or staying up and um, stressing about someone. I feel like, look, here, especially with this card, it's like you getting some sleep and maybe you might have been worried about your partner staying out all night long because that's what I'm getting here too. This man is just like up out of his bed looking out the window and another full moon is showing up here as well so yeah y'all know we just came out of the full moon y'all we was just in a full moon phase and now it's waning it's a waning moon now so it's going back to the new moon phase but it's like releasing these emotions these negative toxic thoughts and emotions that's blocking you from being more patient and connected to spirit or having the things that you want and then we got the nine of wow that followed nine nine um 99 i feel like look you're 99 percent there or you're so close to achieving that's what spirit wanted me to say it's like you're very close to achieving this thing that you really want but don't blow it by giving up but also protect yourself create some sort of boundaries there could be a need to create some sort of boundaries but be prepared to and prepare yourself for whatever like so make sure that you are protecting yourself and not being too vulnerable at this time um yeah come up with a plan on how you can really protect yourself or just believing that you're so close. Look, it's like another full moon trying to show up here. It's like the third full moon that I've seen in the card. But I'm seeing here, it's like standing your ground, standing tall and firm, even though you've been through a lot of things here. Because I feel with this nine of fire, this has been a long spiritual journey for somebody. And it's like you've been probably been on this spiritual journey for what you feel like is a very freaking long time. Um, But it's like... You got to stay connected to spirit. Like, look, this is like a, lo a lifetime thing, right? So as long as you got to make sure that you are protecting yourself by staying connected to spirit, going in and uh, meditating, clearing your chakras, finding ways to um, keep your energy balanced. Then we got the sun showing up. Oh, wow. 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 Look at that. Oh, my God. Because look, really, though? The sun is coming out, but right now it could be dark. And look, the dark time makes it possible for these new opportunities to come in for you. Imagine, like, you can't really see fireworks in the dark, I mean, in the morning sky, in the daytime. That's why they wait until night to do fireworks, which is kind of freaking annoying because then we got to hear all that. But anyway, that's not the point. <laughs> when we try to go to sleep, y'all want to be popping off these fireworks. But no, I feel like it's like kind of... Right when you were sleeping on yourself or kind of least expecting something, boom, 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 boom. All these fireworks come in for you. New opportunities, more money, advancement. This is just a time of joy and success. You achieving something. You feeling very bright and light and warm. That's the vibe I'm getting here too with this fire energy surrounding. We got the eight and the nines over here. So I feel like, yeah, it's just about getting fired up and knowing that you will be victorious, like period. So give gratitude to the divine. Like be grateful. And you can show the divine that you're grateful by spending time to connect with it. Underneath the, yeah, four of wands, we got the, and then we got the knight of wands too. So I'm definitely getting energy from this queen of waters. This is somebody who is emotionally manipulative and you might be dating them because this four of wands energy is definitely showing like a couple out here dancing outside of their house, like but it's supposed to be a celebratory time. But when it's in reverse, I'm getting that you might not be celebrating your partner enough or your partner might not be celebrating you enough. Or there could be some sort of hostility or something that you need to pay attention to in your relationship. So it's like getting in tune with your emotions so that you can pick up on the emotions of others <coughs> around you. Right. But also I'm getting this energy of a lack of security here. So you also might be feeling unstable in your relationship or in your decision that you made. Here, it could have uh, affected you emotionally. So definitely take some time for yourself, right? <clears throat> take care of yourself. Get your emotions in alignment. Tap into spirit. Pray. Heal, right? Support yourself. Um, reward yourself for the work and growth th that you've been putting forth, right? But I do see a strong energy of improvement. There could be something like here that you need to improve with your relationship or connection too. So shine light and positivity on that. Um make some sort of plans on how you can advance, right? If you've been feeling a little bit stuck or what you could do in the meantime, but don't rush anything. Just make sure that you got a plan, a plan A, B, and maybe even C, right? 
just make sure that you got plans on what it is. What am I going to do if the decision that I made um, doesn't unfold the way that I want it to, right? But yeah, that's the energy that I'm getting right here. I'm going to leave this here. I hope you guys resonated with this Capricorn. I love you guys so much. Happy birthday once again. If it's your birthday, happy belated. Until next time, peace, love, and prosperity.